There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge. This is where we call home. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. Last week, we made this big beam and got it up on the front posts. So today, we're working on the rafters for the saw shack. It's been windy here for the past few days, and a lot of our fall foliage is already off the trees, and now it's blanketing the ground in reds and yellows. Sure does make for a pretty work site, though. The supervisor's out sunning herself, and it is another gorgeous day to be out here working. The first step is to mark out rafter placement on both headers. We'll be placing ours 18 on center. We're using 2x6s, so placing them just a little closer together should allow for sufficient handling of our snow load. We get about 3-4 to four feet of snow each winter, and then also the metal roofing that we ordered is 3 feet wide, so 18 on center should land on each seam. We actually went with 18 on center for the woodshed rafters as well that we built not this past summer but the one before that and that withstood our snow load quite well so we're thinking that this should work for the saw shack too. We decided to go with these rafter ties instead of cutting bird's mouths for every rafter. This saved a ton of time for this part of the build. We actually did this kind of assembly line style. We put up all the rafter ties first, then placed two rafters near the ends of the saw shack, and then determined the cut angle for each rafter end cut. Once the saw was set at that angle, we were able to just make those cuts very quickly. I think we spent maybe 30 minutes getting all the rafters cut. This worked out really well, and it was very fast and efficient. The Popple Pup is enjoying another top-notch day out in the woods. So we put a rafter up on each end first, and it was super quick and easy to just drop each one into the rafter ties. These cost about a dollar a piece. Totally worth it. The rafter ties were screwed into the headers, and then one screw was placed into the rafter just to tack that board in place. The rest of the attachments to the rafter itself were done with nails, so we ended up using a combination of both screwing and nailing to affix everything here. The reasoning on this was looking at the direction of the downward forces, it seemed like nails could be potentially more likely to pull out of the back side of the headers. So we went with all screws there and then nailed the remaining parts up into the rafter boards. Well, that worked pretty slick. So we've got one down and a whole lot more to go. It sure is another perfect day here at Aspen Ridge to be out working in the forest. This part of the roof definitely went quicker because we had done all of the rafter tie installation first. Then we were able to just burn through that pile of rafter boards. We ended up getting all the end cuts done on every board, so we only had to have the generator running once. We put up some end pieces first so that a string line could be run, and then each rafter was just lined up along that. This ended up saving a ton of time because they were all cut to the same length, so we didn't have to go through and do any extra measuring with the install. We just set the rafter up there and then backed it down to that string. Super efficient.
If you'd like to get a hold of us with questions or comments, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com, or plip plop a comment below. We love hearing from you. The pitch of this roof ended up being a two and a half inch rise for every 12 inches of run. And just like that, we've got a good portion of the roof up. What do you think? How does it look? Let us know in the comments. So we're going with metal roofing on the saw shack and that has been ordered but in the meantime until it arrives we just threw an old tarp up there as a temporary cover. Weather forecast has been threatening us with some snow and we'd like to be prepared for that. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow our saw shack journey please consider subscribing. That way you can be a popple people too. We'll see you soon.